Determine if the line passing through the point 0, negative 3, 8 is parallel to the line given by the parametric equations x is equal to 10 plus 3t, y is equal to 12t, and z is equal to negative 3 minus t. And we want to determine, does this pass through the xy plane? If it does, then find the coordinates of that point. Okay, so we need to find the line passing through this point and parallel to the given line. So let's just start by thinking about what is our given line here. So the given line, we have it in its parametric equation forms. So we have x is equal to 10 plus 3t, y is equal to 12t, and z is equal to minus 3 minus t. And of course this is such that t is an element of the real numbers. So let's keep in mind the general equation of a line. We know that vector r of t with the parametric components x of t, y of t, z of t can be generalized as follows. So using that definition, we know that x of t is x naught plus a t, that y of t is y naught plus b t, and that z of t is z naught plus c t. And we can now use vector arithmetic in reverse. We could separate this out, thinking about the position vector. So this would be x naught, y naught, z naught, plus the parallel vector times our parameter. So we're talking about the portions being multiplied by t. And if you see it, by all means, go for it. I'm breaking this down into a little extra detail here, just in case. So you notice here we got that scalar multiple of t. So we can pull this out. So you have x of t, y of t, z of t, plus the scalar multiple t multiplied by the parallel vector. And that's what we need. We need the parallel vector. So looking up at the parametric equations that we are given. Let's break this down. So again, we are given the vector value function r of t with the components. We have 10 plus 3t. We have 12t. And we have minus 3 minus t. So again, let's break this down just as we did before into the position vector plus the parallel vector. So here we go. We have the position vector has the components 10, 0, minus 3, plus the parallel vector portion, which is 3t, 12t, minus t. And we can pull that scalar multiple t out, which leaves us with 10, 0, minus 3, plus t, multiplied by 3, 12, negative 1. So looking at this, we have, or we can clearly see that the parallel vector that we need to find the new line is defined as 3, 12, negative 1. So we can now use this parallel vector to find a new line that passes through the point 0, negative 3, 8, and is parallel to this given line. So here we go, giving ourselves plenty of room. We're ready now to find the new line. So we know that it's going to be parallel to the parametric equations of the line that we're given, and it also must pass through the point P naught defined by the ordered triplet 0, negative 3, 8. And so we can use this to define our position vector r naught, which is the directed line segment from the origin to that point p naught. So our position vector is 0, negative 3, 8. So we'll use our position vector with the parallel vector to define the new line. So we can say that therefore vector r of t 
is going to be the position vector 0 minus 3, 8 plus t multiplied by the parallel vector 3, 12, negative 1. And we can simplify this. I'll leave the steps up to you, but we have 0 plus 3t. We're going to have negative 3 plus 12t and then 8 minus t. So here is the equation of the new line. Now that we have the equation of the, the new line, we want to determine, does this line pass through the xy plane? So does the line pass through the xy plane? So how are we going to determine this? Well, let's think back for a moment. How do you define the xy plane? So we know, of course, that the xy plane is defined as z is equal to 0. So what we can do is take our z component and equate it equal to 0 to see if t exists. So we are going to set the z component of the parametric equation equal to 0 and solve for t. If t exists, then yes, the line will pass through the point. And we can use that t to find the exact point, the exact ordered triplet. So here we go. We have 8 minus t is equal to 0, which we can easily see that t is equal to 8. Woohoo! So this lets us know that, yes, the line does pass through the xy plane. So the line passes through the xy plane. So now we can use this t value to find the exact ordered triplet at which the line passes through. So we want to find the coordinates of the point. So let's go ahead and let t be equal to 8. So what is going to be the x-coordinate? Well, we have the parametric equation for x, and we're going to let t be equal to 8. So this is equal to 3 times 8, which gives us 24. Doing the same thing for the parametric equation of the y component. So we have, and excuse me, this is t is equal to 8. So we have y of 8 is going to be equal to minus 3 plus 12 times 8, which is equal to negative 3 plus 96, which leaves us with 93. And we already know that z value, but just for good practice here, z of 8, we should get 0. Let's check. 8 minus 8 is 0. So therefore, the ordered triplet xyz, where the line passes through the xy plane, is defined by the components 24, 93, 0. And now be careful here. This is a point, not a vector. So use your rounded parentheses. And so this is our, our beautiful final answer.